Hi, this is Roger from Upswung. In this video, we are going to discuss how to construct a precast movable concrete base for the MB832 barrier gate operator. The drawing that you're looking at, always refer to the right hand side of the drawing for those two details, the one that shows the rebar and one that shows the cross section. Now, the reason that you may want to construct this is it's portable. You bolt the MB832 to the precast slab and using a forklift you can set it on the asphalt like in a parking lot, driveway, near any kind of opening that you just want to temporarily put the unit there to control traffic or you can put it on dirt, sand, gravel if it's a construction site for controlling entry of vehicles. And There's all sorts of uses for having a portable base for the MB832 without the construction costs of having to put a permanent base in and then later removing it. The first step is to build the forms. Use 2x6 or 2x8s. Form a square 36 inches by 36 inches and set the forms on visqueen or some sort of plastic because you're going to pour into it and you want to be able to remove it later. If you look at the bottom part of the drawing you'll see the cross section. You can also lay some 2x8s flat to create voids in the pour for forklift forks to go in underneath the slab for easy pickup and this is highly recommended if you have a forklift and you're going to be moving around with a forklift or a loader bucket with a forklift attachment. It comes in very handy to have the slots to slip your forks in. Position isn't critical. Forks are usually adjustable so just follow the general outline in the drawing. The rebar is half inch or number four rebar, four courses in each direction. Make sure that you allow for an inch and a half of cover all the way around the rebar and also the rebar should be placed approximately in the middle of the pour. So you either use concrete dobies or wire stands to keep the rebar in position while pouring. Mark the rebar on the form so you know the locations of each rebar course so that later on when you're drilling into the slab to mount the MB832 that you do not hit the rebar with the masonry drill bit. Now about the concrete. Do not use cheap concrete. You can obtain 5000 PSI bagged concrete, mix it according to the instructions and pour it into the form all in one pour maintaining the position of the rebar in the form make sure the rebar doesn't fall off its stands or get too close to any one side. For concrete curing allow the pour to be undisturbed for 21 days you can't move it after 21 days it's cured. During that time you want to make sure that it never dries out so keep plastic or visqueen over the top of the pour or the form and maintain moisture. If it dries out it stops curing and adding water will not start the concrete to finish curing. It's a chemical process that requires water so moisture will be used up. You have to keep adding it. Keep it damp for 21 days. Also when finishing the concrete you may want to take a three-quarter inch radius tool and radius the concrete after you level it off and screed it off and trowel it so you have nice rounded edges so you don't have sharp edges that end up chipping all around the circumference of the pour. So you can set the MB832 onto the slab and make note of where the rebar positions are and drill using a half inch masonry drill bit, hammer drill, and drill three quarters of the way into the slab, measure the depth of the hole at an inch and a half and that should give you enough of a stud sticking out of the slab to bolt the MB832 down. Bolted down you can move the precast slab and the MB832 together with the arm attached if you want. Again making sure that there's no danger of striking an overhead power line if the arm is sticking straight up out of the MB832 and 
when you're moving it of course you have to consider that it's pretty high up in the air so you do not want to hit a power line with it be very careful about that if there's any question remove the arm from the base unit before moving other than that that's it if you have any questions you can call 775-588-1475 select option 1 or extension 112 or go to www dot barrier hyphen gate dot com where you can find this drawing and other drawings and videos thank you